today's topic um, seems that um, our, our friend um, Walt, Walter Weeks, Mr. Fresh Prince CEO, got his uh, her pregnant, and she's keeping the baby, and she's exposing him. <laughs> yes. No, sir. Alpha male guru, whatever, red pill, knows the truth of the world, uh, got caught up uh, with a sex worker and got her pregnant. And now he's begging her to get rid of it. The guys who were supposed to tell you uh, not to get these um, first pregnant got them pregnant. Now, can I ask you a question? Is that fresh? <laughs> I'm just asking. Is that a new one? God. Or is it this the most stale ass mistake you could make in the world? God damn it. You know what they calling him online? Pug CEO. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> they they got a nickname called Pug CEO. Yeah, they are killing this man. Alright, so the her name is Daisy Fit. Okay. <laughs> she she is she's putting them on blast. You mean to tell me that fresh fucked with fit? <laughs> That's fire. I didn't see that one. Fresh, fresh got pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you didn't see that shit when you said it? Because like because that's the thing. Fresh offers pretty much nothing to the podcast. So it's almost like Fit got him pregnant and gotta pay child support. If I've seen any girl's Instagram and it has preaching it, I will never talk to her. It could be the baddest. It could be the second coming of Megan Good. If she got preaching the Instagram, you better get the fuck away from me. Ain't no way I'm getting no Megan Preach Good pregnant. That's gay. That she, yo, 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 she could be the whole incarnate of Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Yeah, it, it, it could be Halle Berry. And if her middle name's Preach, bitch, you gotta go. Halle Preach Berry? No, oh, she gotta go. You're not clapping. No. You're not clapping Halle Preach Berry's cheeks. Nah, 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 nah. Be buying flights and shit and seeing that middle name on the passport. You don't want that. Here, bro. No? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Halle Preach Berry. Nah, nah, nah. No. It really would be Abba and Preach. <laughs> <laughs> you man! That's disgusting. You didn't see him recently? He was talking about Habib Hijab, and he was like... The thing is, if you don't believe in the laws of logic, and for example, non-contradiction, or for example, 2 plus 2 equals 4, if you don't believe in any of that, then you can't have a conversation with anyone about anything because there's no common ground. But, you can never find out what truth is. Okay, so... Forget. Creation itself... Who decided two plus two plus four? Man did, right? Hmm? I'm just saying on a basis, two plus two, who decided that? Who decided two plus two equals four? Is that a serious question? Yeah, yeah, what no, respect I, like I'm asking, is... no, 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 I'm, I'm asking you. No one decided two plus two equals so four. How bro. did it come about? <laughs> no, that shit was funny, right? <laughs> But who decided? You know what? There's nobody who can stump you like a stupid person. Uh, so, uh, Miss Fit, the one that Fresh was f***ing, she writes, she sends a picture of the pregnancy test. She took two of them because she needed to confirm that she had Pug CEO's babies. You always told me you wanted to be your baby's... You wanted me to be your baby mother. M mother, okay. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I'll call you shortly. Take your time. And then he says, I can't have kids. And she says, take responsibility for your actions. She goes, and he goes, what's this? She goes, read it. Blood test. Pregnancy blood test. So she got all the tests to make sure she knew. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Because two plus two equals four. <laughs> and then she highlights it on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it just says pregnant. And he says, it's, debatable. it's not about that right now. It's good. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. She goes, I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep coming inside me, I will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behave. 
Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying because I want to be with you, because I don't, because you are nothing to me, but the baby is innocent. What are you saying? We're not together and won't be. Why would that be good for the kid? So she goes, why did you keep come inside me? <laughs> Hey, listen, lady, why did you let this man? All those things happen, and yes, feelings change, but bringing a kid into this world without parents' love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. <laughs> okay. Aside from two plus two being four, coming inside of a woman means very possible to get her pregnant. <laughs> and who decided? Who decided that coming inside girl mean per baby? Who decided? Uh... The elders that came together. <laughs> Sper yeah. Sperm inside uh, uh, ovulation. Baby, who decided? Who, who, who decided? Listen, that being said. <laughs> and he goes, also now I'm worried. I have to test the other girls, at least four. And then. What I, the fuck did you say? That's what he wrote. I didn't, I didn't make that up. And she says, another girl, four girls. You were saying you have sex with four girls without protection? I hope you have all the money for your children. Wait, wait, wait. that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Mm. He said, I have to get tests for the other girls. All four of them. And he goes, I don't have money. Good luck. You will see. Unfortunately, Fresh, that's not how it works. She filed them court documents. They're going to get your bank accounts. They're going to get your statements. And you're going to have to cough up that cash. This ain't something that you can walk your way out of. You better pray to high heaven because you're going to be on the hook for a lot. This is a story between me and Walter Weeks, podcaster known as Pug CEO. Wow. I met him on November 21st in Miami. I fall in love with him. Okay, this girl writes like an immigrant. We spend New Year's like a what? Like an immigrant. <laughs> you fucked up. No, that I'm accurate. We spend New Year's together, and that's the time when he asked me to be his girl and to commit to him. And he posted a video of us on social media. He said to me, "I love you. I don't want you to be with other men." <laughs> a few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Everything went well. I showed him and his mom my respect. He defended me on his podcast from the rumors. That's the moment I truly fall in love with him. But this is where the game begins. I left Miami on January 8th. So that's like, okay, that's not even like a month and a half. Traveled back to China for Chinese New Year. The night before, we had a serious conversation. He said he sees me like someone to spend the whole life with and i told him i was going to move to miami for him from then we started a long distance relationship for two months until i traveled to barbados i met his entire family there everything was so real he's serious with me therefore i'm not on birth control and we had sexual behavior without protection at first everything was fine i stayed in his apartment we had a mutual understanding he's not a monogamous person that me and him both need both needs our own space so i suggested him to help me rent an apartment I want you to have the things you want as you understand me. Ten days later, a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises. After a few days, he asked me to move out. He stopped coming home. He disappeared for three nights without explanation. I left my work behind in China to pursue this relationship. So I moved out, booked a flight to New York City. On March 30th, I had a pregnancy test and it's positive. She's not a U.S. citizen? Uh, he's telling her to take a pill to get rid of the kid. Okay. Oh, there's audio. So the title of this is called Ling Ling Leaks Phone Call with... God damn. <laughs> Yo, the people on Reddit are just saying, yo, wow. They do not give up. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and then it's over. Mm. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, this is joking aside, okay? This is just for everyone watching at home. Abortion shouldn't be something you guys take lightly, okay? Abortion should not be some form of birth control that you guys heavily rely on. Alright? A lot of you guys are just busting inside of people, no birth control, they're not on birth control, don't care. And then when shit hit the fan, you're just looking at the ladies like, yo, take a pill. Go to the clinic. Like, that's an incredibly physically traumatic thing for a lot of women to experience. It fucks up their hormone balance for an extended period of time, it has physical ramifications, and it messes with their psyche. If you've never had your hormones completely out of whack, you may never be able to understand. But just casually saying, yo, just take a pill, do this, just get rid of it. You guys are asking a lot, <clears throat> okay? So I'm not saying that you guys can't have conversations about abortion, but the way some of you guys approach it and the way you guys talk about it so flippantly, 
Y'all are so goddamn irresponsible about it. I don't even care if you guys get caught up having to pay child support. Y'all should be a bit more considerate of what you're asking the opposite sex to do in regards to their own body when it comes to abortion. Well, they probably never lived it. It's one thing not living it, but you can at least put yourself in the shoes of a person. I understand. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, they haven't lived it. They, they will never live it. They no. will never understand no. how traumatic and crazy that is and, and what you put yourself... But... I mean, I wouldn't expect someone not understanding two plus two equals four to understand that, but you have to understand what it what it what it brings a person. Like, just even not the pill is crazy. Like, you have to force and induce. Basically, it's not just it magically disappears. No, no, you have to induce your body into a contraction to expel the thing. You know what I mean? So, mm, for your body and to induce your body to do that, the chemicals that you have to. My understanding is even after it happens, for a long extended period of time after that, they still feel the effects of a pregnancy. That's correct. So, like, their bodies are kind of going through it the entire time. Mm -hmm. So, and if you've never seen a woman who's pregnant, like, she's going through mood strings, her hormones are all over the place, her appetite, her depression, her, her like, everything changes. So, just guys, understand what it is you guys are asking. For that little short bit of, like, pleasure that you guys get busted inside the sugar walls. You guys are demanding that they take this thing and there's like very little consideration for it when you guys have this conversation. I understand being caught up with a child and it being brought up in unfair circumstances and child support, all that shit's crazy. But a lot of y'all not even taking that shit into consideration when you bust it inside of these broads and then you just say this shit willingly afterwards. It just doesn't sit right with me. I think it's a bad way to approach it. And I also think if you want her to actually get the abortion, it's probably best not to just go nuclear and be like, because then she's going to just cut you off. Just something to think about. What do you mean? Because if you're just like, yo, f*** you, then she'd be like, f*** y'all, do what I want. And then what happens? You can't even have any say. And me listening to this broad too, like, she's an idiot as well. well how so? Well, this guy puts his whole life out there. She gets with Okay, expecting him to take responsibility of all this other stuff. The dude is constantly in different dumb situations. What's more, he's told her, I'm going to be sleeping with other people. He does it with you unprotected. Why wouldn't you think he's not going to do it with the other ladies unprotected? Sure. I don't know. To me, it's just like you met him November 21st. You guys are talking about having babies by January. Like this broad is stupid. Two months, you having babies? Or with a dude who's sleeping with a bunch of other women? Or smart. Or she knows exactly what she's doing. Baby trapping? I, I'm not, I don't want to put it out there, but it's either two things. Whenever I see a, a, a thing, when I see a situation like that, I see that it's either really stupid or someone thought about this whole thing. No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By, by saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... To the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. This is what I think it's thought out. When do you go from I really love them to record all the conversation to trap them out and to, to, to put it out there? That's why I think it's kind of weird because they're having a conversation now. No, go ahead. It don't take that much. Like, if you really love somebody or you're like, you're really crazy about them and especially if you got the crazy hormones going on inside you because mm. you're pregnant... Two, three months is all it takes for you to be like, this person abandoned me. They're talking crazy about me online. Yo, I'm about to expose everything. Hey, hey, listen, if you feeling cornered and isolated, it don't take much for you to get online and talk crazy. I'm going to air this shit out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not that crazy. That's not I that crazy at, at all. I'm mad at that. I have seen that happen way faster than three months. Sure. <laughs> I see that. Sure. Hey, the, the, the switch from I love you to like, I'm going to put your whole shit on blast is not that far for a lot of people. Yeah, go from uh, I love you to I'm going to bust the windows out your car. But also, someone saying I love you in two months, I don't believe them at all. I think these are just people who are a little bit unstable and a little bit cuckoo. And then they just the love, love bomb like crazy and say bomb. crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, the love bomb is crazy. So, like, when these people say love, it means nothing to me. All right. So that, that's just a bit. Um, Pug CEO got fit pregnant and now he's got to deal with the consequences. That's the whole story. You say it. Yeah, that's the story. I said it earlier. Okay? But man, you said it and you surprised me with it. Nah, 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 nah. That's crazy. Once you pointed that out, yo, shit, that's crazy. It's just, it's just because when you said it, it's, it's, I don't know. Nah, nah, it's, nah, it's nah. My bad. But, uh, it's my brain. It's just. That's all good. 
Um, thoughts on this? I know um, everyone's going to meme, and I think there's a lot of reasons to meme, and I'm going to meme. It's unfortunate because a child is very likely to be born in this situation to two dysfunctional adults. So one who's a grown man child who's out here slanging dick and getting multiple women potentially pregnant like an idiot and busts inside everybody. And the other one who's a, who's a goofy adult who traveled all across the world to be with a guy who's a self-admitted player and is sleeping with multiple people and let him bust inside of her. Like, sorry, ma'am, you're an idiot too. The problem that I had was really the fact that the fact this happens all the time. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it happens all the time, and I'm not surprised. The problem that I got, I got is really the, them reaping benefits from people and then just turning around and doing the, the, the opposite. And I, that's been my problem since the get-go. Like, no, you turn around and you do this, but you take people's money to, and say this and that and that. Like, you're not the example. That's really what I have. I really the the rest you already said. Uh, that that's it's, all, it's always been my, the problem that I have with them. Um, it's a it's a it's a yeah it's a bad thing. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's unfortunate. It's re, it really is. Yeah. How many times you know, have you seen these losers put on these shades and be like, I just I want to escape the matrix. You know you know the red pill is about escaping the matrix. That being said, uh, I got a sugar baby pregnant. And now I got child support, so I'm stuck in the matrix. You know, the red pill is the truth, but I prefer the lies, and I busted inside this Ling Ling. <laughs> okay, let me just stop. Oh, shit. Anyways, I all this was, to say. I, I knew you was about to go get it. Okay, that's the memeing. Yeah, that's the memeing part. No, I'm just saying. That's it's just part. like, it's, a, it's your field trip. These guys always talk about the matrix and this and stuff, and they just find the dumbest ways to plug themselves into the system financially. And like, they're just, they're just dumb. Like I said, the thing that was going to kill this movie from the jump is the hypocrisy and the stupidity. You just see it every day. Yeah. I just can't take it seriously. Anything else you want to say about Pug CEO? Nah. I didn't, yeah. Didn't want to say it in the first place. But yeah. Bruh. That's disgusting. <laughs> but anyways. You know, just another day, another episode of... Uh, I don't know what this shit is. <laughs> Turn that shit off. <laughs> We're done. I'm not gonna lie, the pug CEO kills me. That's crazy. Cause I, Cause put I it, see it. <laughs> Cause I see it. <laughs> but anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you guys want, we found this story on our Reddit. But if you want to go check that out, go ahead. We also got a Discord where everyone's discussing these topics. So go sign up. And we got a Patreon with a bunch of exclusive videos. Boom. If you want to see our extras, all the takes that we didn't put right here, go to the Patreon. Yep. They we never come in out. 100 plus exclusive videos, only you can see them there. They never come in out. That's right.